the 1998 Daytona 500. It was the year when one of NASCAR's biggest superstars finally won the great American race. Dale Earnhardt is going to win the Daytona 500. But it was a rarely talked about radio conversation between Sunday Money, Dale Earnhardt Sr., and Captain Jack, NASCAR President Bill France Jr., that gave us one of NASCAR's most memorable celebrations. Ah, there goes the grass. Yeah. We're at Daytona for the Great American Race. 43 drivers ready to see who wins the 1998 Daytona 500. All the championships and every accomplishment that, that Dale Sr. had, the only piece missing in his puzzle was the Daytona 500. Just before clipping that window net, he looked out at me and he winked, and he pulled me by the collar down in there. He says, you just get me close to that leader. At the end of this thing, I'll make his day go bad. I knew. He was a man on a mission. Now, you may be able to hold off one car. You may be able to hold off a couple of cars. But Earnhardt's got six cars behind him that can take a run at him. Remember what you told me a year ago. Don't let him get a run on you. He had gotten so close so many times. And everybody was wondering on the last couple of laps what was going to go wrong. And nothing did. That was his day. You're finally going to get it, buddy. Praise the Lord. Dale Earnhardt is going to win the Daytona 500 in his 20th try, finally the one prize in NASCAR racing that has eluded him the most over his illustrious career. All right, all right. You're the greatest, buddy. You're the greatest. Dad, you gone right, baby. There's about 150,000 people here been waiting 20 years to see it. When I went to work at RCR, Richard was kind of giving me a lay of the land before the season started. He said, now, one thing I need to warn you about, Bill France Jr. and Dale are really tight. He said, actually, Bill France has one of our radios. And once in a while, he'll talk to Dale. Obviously, Bill Jr. would never be involved in a race. He just liked listening. And Dale would call Bill Captain Jack. I totally had forgotten about it, totally forgot about it. And all of a sudden, somebody keys the radio and says, Sunday money, Captain Jack. Who in the hell is Captain Jack? And what is he doing on our radio? And I'm about to give Captain Jack the custom of Captain Jack's life. And Richard sees me, and he about tackles me. And he's, he's like, no, the, oh, that's Captain Jack. Hey, Richard, Captain Jack. Captain Jack. Yeah, Richard, this is Winter Circle, too, you know. Yes, sir, unbelievable, unbelievable. It's the greatest sport in the world right here, buddy. Greatest sport in the world. People hadn't even left the grandstands yet. That tells you what this sport's all about. Dale radios up to Bill and says, Captain Jack, is it OK if I tear up your football field? Because you got out there and you messed up the artwork and everything. The promoter wasn't too happy about that. Got to take a spin around at the Daytona 500 side in the center of the infield. Hell yeah, you damn right. Sunday money, Captain Jack, keep it on the grass. Captain Jack, appreciate it, thank you. So Dale asked for permission to, and he went out and got on the grass and did the burnout. Yes, guys, yes, yes. The entire industry celebrated that moment. That moment became one of the most iconic celebrations in NASCAR's 75-year history, one that we only experienced thanks to a radio transmission between Sunday Money and Captain Jack.